How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Destiny or Fate here in 21. I've never played this game. I love deck building games. I love card games, physical and digital. I'm really excited to give this a shot. My buddy Rick has this on his channel, and he recommended it, and I have been slow to uh, get around to it because I've got so many games going on, but I, it's been kind of just brewing in my mind, and I can't wait to dive in. So we're just going to start with a new game. All right, so right away, um, it looks like we have characters to unlock. I'm hoping they have, like, different play styles, different decks, different base cards. I don't know. Um, but this has this nice kind of anime feel to it. Difficulty one sword. I guess that means easy. This is Joanna. I see fire in your eyes. Do you? Together, we can defeat the Demon King. Okay. Let's, let's do that. I didn't know what the objective was, but apparently there is a, um, Demon King that I need to defeat. Now, I can look at her details, and it says... Here she is. She has a tactical move main skill that says, when the battle starts, grants 10 defense to all allies. Okay, good. Um, she has a passive skill that says, when the battle starts, grants 5 defense to the user for each defensive party member for a total of 0. Mm, I don't know what that translation means necessarily. We'll have to see. Um... She has shield, shield Smash, absorbs defense, and deals damage equal to 120% of defense for a total of zero. Oh, maybe this is like, this number is real-time reflective of the fact that I have no defensive party members, so I'm not getting a, bo a bo boost right now. Um, okay. Um, Battle Cry grants 30 defense to the user, applies taunt to the user. So... I guess she's my ally and I'm fighting too because it looks like she can do stuff to me or to the other allies. I don't know. Um, deals one attack card, reduce the cost of a received card by once. That's Knight's Acumen, but that's um, locked. And then Orb Slot minus one, hit point plus five. Um, okay, so I don't really know how to evaluate this stuff yet. You know, heroes' hit points replenished at the beginning of the battle by one, um, so there must be cumulative health across a series of battles, I'm guessing. Attack skill and attack card damage plus one at the beginning of the card, because, you know, I've never actually um, played this before, so I don't even know what the battle is going to unfold like. Uh, so I'm just going to go back, and I'm going to look at Joanna, and I'm going to look at her starting cards. And so she's got some cards. Um, grants 15 defense, deals 20 damage. And it looks like you start with a deck of 10, so it's very Slay the Spire. 10-card um, starting deck, and we're going to build from there. We have, you know, five or a four vanilla defense, four vanilla attack, and then two specials. So I think the best thing is to just dive in, because I can't really evaluate the cards. I have no relative framework uh, or foundation with which to make a determination on anything so let's just start the game yeah let's do it okay oh where am i what's going on welcome back sleeping beauty oh thanks top hat strange soot ball spirit that you're holding i can tell from the look on your face that you have no idea where you are <laughs> i thought you were a corpse there for a second but don't kid yourself you aren't alive either you're how do I put it? Between life and death, stuck in a card game, in a computer, forever. I don't understand. Who are you? What is this place? This is a special place. Only those chosen by the crystal can come here. Oh, well, it looks like there's crystals all over the place, so... Um, not THE crystal, just these are just like relatives of the crystal. The world is different from yours. It's hard to explain. It isn't heaven or hell. It's somewhere in the middle. Well, guess what? That seems like regular world. Not really heaven or hell in the middle. I was passing by when I happened to notice you, so I decided to do one good deed in my life and help you. Oh, well, thank you. You'll see other heroes like yourself here. They're trapped in the crystal, too. You'll run into them pretty often. Oh, so we're trapped inside the crystal that has chosen us. Interesting. 
To make a long story short, this world has five regions and five portals. The only way to get back to your world is to pass through all of them. Nobody's ever managed to do that before. You'll have to be a damn genius to pull it off. <laughs> well, that's encouraging. No one's ever done it in history. Great. Hmm, so if I go through all the portals, I'll make it home. I like how she's like constantly drawing her sword and kind of like bobbing her head up and down as her hair flows behind her. She looks like she's just about to, at any moment, draw down and chop this guy's shadowy head off. Um, well, I guess it's better than nothing. I still have some unfinished business in my world. Heh <laughs> heh. Sure, you might as well give it a shot, right? But you won't make it far on your own. You'll want to search for allies and collect artifacts along the way. They'll help you get out of here. Oh, okay. Well, I like allies. I like artifacts. I'm down. The world always gives you a choice. Since I freed you from the crystal, I'll show you the ropes. Want me to help you with your first battle? Um, yes, I need to play the tutorial because I've never, oh my god, done it before. That is apparently the Incredible Hulk that I'm fighting with a top knot and a club. Death to the orc. This is, this orc is in prime physical condition. I think we're dealing with a 0% body fat, um, steroid, and HG, well, not HGH, OGH, I guess, ridden green beast here. Wow, this guy looks scary. Use the cards in your hand to beat the orc. Okay. Let's use a common attack card. Find the attack card and click on it. Then click on the enemy to attack it. Okay. So we're going to attack um, this guy. And let's see. Where's my resources? I guess I have three of these blue things, which is what this costs. So I, I have three resources. I have five cards in my hand. 76 health, I guess. Um... I don't know what these symbols mean. Fine. We're going to do this. We're going to click on this. And it says it deals 20 damage. And then... Um, he's going to attack us to deal 15 damage to one enemy. Or he can grant 20 defense to the user. Um, interesting. Alright. So, I guess we just click on it. Um, on him. And then he gets hit for 20. Enemy's health. Nice. Keep using attack cards to deal damage to the enemy and win the battle. All right. Interesting. Orbs. When you use cards, you get orbs. Okay, so that's what these are. Once all your orb slots are filled, a special skill will become available to you. Interesting. Okay. The orbs fill the slots in order, so try to use cards of the same type of the orb you need. I see, so attack, defense, okay. Let's use another attack card. Yeah, that'll fill the second orb, all right. So we'll just use it, and then we'll click on him, and we'll be like, hey, hit him. And we, we did damage to him. All the cards go to the tomb. The cards in the tomb can't be used again until you finish your turn. Okay. You only have one mana left. In this world, mana is the resource you use to play cards. Okay. Guess what? In this world, it's the same when I'm playing Magic the Gathering. Different cards have different mana costs. Okay. Enemy's next move, part one. When you run out of mana, you won't be able to use cards, and you'll have to finish your turn. Let's see what the enemy does during the next turn. Um, I can look at this, and it says he's going to attack me. During the next turn, your enemy will deal 15 damage to you. This is indicated by the red arrow. Select the monster to get more info. Let's use a defense card this time. Click on the card and then click your hero. Okay. So it is like Slate Aspire in the sense that you get to see, in, in, at least in the PvE content, which I assume this game is just all PvE, um, what the enemy's intention is, what their next turn is going to be like, and then we can plan accordingly. So we need to defend, and that will defend against the entire attack. Um, so we'll click him. Oh, no, we'll click me. We'll be like, hey, defend me. And then now is what? My defense 30? You're out of mana. You can't perform any more actions. Let's end the turn. Okay. So we end the turn with E. And then enemy phase. He's hit me. Um, but it didn't hurt because we had 15 block. Great. It's your turn again. You got new cards from the draw deck at the beginning of your turn. Confirm. If the draw deck is empty, the cards from the tomb will be moved there. Okay. Lucky you, you got a power card. Power cards can only be used once per battle. The effect lasts throughout the entire battle, alright? 
using power cards. When you use a power card, all units get one orb no matter which type they need. Let's try using this power card. Okay, confirm. So we're going to use this, and it says when the player's turn starts, grants 30 defense to the user removed. So we're going to use this on us, and it says we get one orb no matter what we need. So it's going to fill in an attack orb for us, and once all your orbs are filled, you'll be able to use a special skill. Always keep this in mind during battle. Okay. So we have 15 block plus, I don't know what this extra shield means, but we want to use a defensive card to fill out the last orb that we need. And we're going to use it on ourselves. And we're now at 30 block. And now we get Shield Smash or Battle Cry. Um, so it's telling us now the tooltip is reflecting in real time what it's going to do. And it says, this now Shield Smash, instead of a total of zero, it says 36. So we're going to hit him for 36 and create a Confusion card. So let's hit this dude for 36. And it turns over. And we got a... Um, an unusable card, so it just kind of takes our takes our time by, because we have to draw it. So we'll end the turn. He's going to hit us, and he will do damage to us because I guess Shield Slam used my defense, maybe? Not quite sure how that works yet. Um, but we can just attack uh, him and finish him off, right? We've won. Victory. Select an artifact chest. Artifact receive. Pro protective charm. When a battle starts, grant five defense to all allies. That's good. Chapter one. A tell. Choose a destination. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, I pl I stopped at the end of the tutorial. I got some kind of bracelet um, or piece of equipment for this character, and. Um, I then resumed the game after taking a break and clicked continue and what happened is I was on a world map and I had three paths I could choose and I got into this fight. Now, um, Rick was telling me that it, it does have that board game aspect like Suede Aspire where you have a path, so... Uh, it looks like they've stopped explaining anything about the game, and I'm just in a fight with a spider. Um, and here we go. So, um, I have two energy left, I'm just, or mana left, I'm going to hit it. And then, it looks like it's going to poison me. Um, poison goo. And it will deal 5% of my max HP to me. And I don't know if defending even does anything to stop this. It will, however, trigger my um, runes, and I should have... I played this wrong. I should have done defense first and then attack, attack to make better progress here, but... Hey, I'm new. Here we are. So Spider-Man is going to poison us. A bunch. Um, we take some damage, and here we go. So... I could hit this guy with shield throw and do 30 damage. He has no defense. So maybe I just do this and hit him. And he's dead. Yeah, that worked out. Victory. All right. So we get 50 gold, five blue crystals, and zero red crystals. Now, um, I don't know what gold does, blue crystals do, or red crystals do, but I'm happy to get all these rewards. Um, I c looks like I get three cards to choose from at the end of the fight. Maybe I'm building my deck like in Sway to Spire. Um, so I can get a defense card. I can get a peacekeeper card. Applies chains um, for one turn. Applies change to a random enemy for one turn. Destruction. All right, so maybe I just, it's like, okay, I get to put chains on someone, but I don't get to pick. And then chains block them from attacking, which is really good for one energy. And then it said says that this card will be sent to the destroyed deck rather than a tomb after being used. So that's the destroyed deck must be like exile land. Um, and then escape from the tomb allows you to bring a card back from your graveyard, um, or I guess your tomb, into your hand. Um, 
This is nice. I don't have many cards that I'm like over the moon about getting back for one energy. Um, but at the same time, it might be nice for picking up exactly the kind of card that I need. But then this is always going to be good. So let's just check this out and see if we like it. So we got Peacekeeper. Okay, great. All right. Um, now, this says capture a monster. And it's going to give me... I can spend five blue gems to capture a monster. Um, I don't know... Anything about this? I mean, why not capture a monster? You got flower spider. Okay. Uh-huh. And then... Okay. So here I am. And I have now a buddy on my team. And there is... Um, this is just telling me what the different icons on the map do. Battle, elite, boss, shop. Who knows? So we're going to go fight a battle, I guess. Okay, um, and we get into a fight, and here we are. All right, and now there's two of them. So, um, this guy has 60 hit points, and this guy has 50. I could um, blitz skill. What are they going to do? He's attacking spider, and then he's defending himself. All right. Well, in this world, um, I mean, let's just do this. We're going to use her skill right away. And um, I could give myself 30 defense and taunt for a turn. And what this would do um, is make it so the spider doesn't get hit. So let's try this out. Let's see if there's any reason to do this, right? And then, but what I could also do is just shield throw now. Um, and it would do 45 damage. But... Um, I would lose all my block. I think I'll just go ahead and attack. Now, I'm not triggering her um, rune, but I am going to trigger the spider's rune by doing attack. So let's attack right here. And then we're done. So end of turn. Now, he, he hits me, but I defended. Um, okay. Now... I think he, something must have been done to make it so everything cost more. Um, what happened? I guess they did some kind of like web ability. I don't know. He's attacking me, but I still have a bunch of armor, so I have 29 defense. So I'm not going to take any damage from his attack. It's Peacekeeper, then I can only play one card this turn, so let's just do this. And you do get to target. Oh, no, never mind. Um, oh, I see. You put chains on yourself, and then one of the other enemies gets chains. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'll do it to myself. It's fine. All right, good. We got the target we wanted. Um, so we'll end the turn. Okay, now it's time. He's going to heal this one, and this one's going to attack us. Okay. Um, I think what we can do is just um, attack this dude. Uh-huh. And then we'll blitz skill on this, and then um, I can... 
shield smash uh, the big guy. But it won't kill him, unfortunately. I thought I had him dead. Huh. Alright, well, he's almost dead. And then we end the turn. I have no idea what this spider is, help, is doing for me. And so I got hit. Hmm. I don't think I played that correctly at all. That was a huge disaster. Um, but anyway, we can do this and get the spider special. So let's do it. Have her block. And then um, he can attack for 17 damage. Or spider web that prevents someone from attacking. Why don't you attack this dude? Okay. And then we'll just go ahead and use our attack on this guy. I think I get it. I think the spider basically only does something if the runes fill up. So you just kind of want to pay attention to his pattern. Um, let's just attack again. We block his entire attack, so we'll be fine. Alright. He's going to defend. So let's just attack here. And then um, defend here. And she can do her thing. Um, but we're just going to battle cry, actually. And then attack. And end. No problem. Okay. Bizarre. Alright, so... The next play... Let's just shield throw and kill this guy. So we win. Mm. Okay. We got money, blue crystals, and red crystals. Confirm. And what do we want? Um, we can discard a card to get a mana. That's pretty good. Flying daggers. Deal 15 damage to all enemies. Wow. Wow. Apply poison to all enemies two times. That's actually very good. And it's an attack card. Hmm. I think this is seems pretty good. So let's try it. Okay. And then, do we want to capture either of these monsters? Um, I mean... This, la this uh, larva actually seems pretty good, just for getting an extra mana. Okay. Sure, come on, be on my team. Um, Alright, we could go fight uh, here or here. Can't. Now you can go backward, I guess, if you want. Huh. I'll go over here. Battle. Ooh, there's a shop ahead of us. Oh my, look at this insanity. Alright, so there's a. Um. Shaman, a four eye, and a shaman. Uh, two of them want to attack the main character, and one wants to attack our larva. Now, this is really tempting because it will um, hit everyone for 15, and then we can just defend. Yeah. And it does apply poison, right? What does this do again? Um, so they take 5% of their health. Um, and we will just defend with her. And so 
she should actually take no damage. The larva will take damage. But he does have 10 block, so he will only take a little bit. He'll take 5. Oh, we got chained up. I mean, you can chain up that guy all you want, honestly. Fine. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. All kinds of buffering happening. What is this? Um, he's going to create a curse card for somebody. He is healing. He is healing. All right. No problem. Anybody attacking? No. All right. Well, then... Honestly, I don't want a curse card. So let's just attack this. And then attack this. And then he'll die from the poison. So let's just hit this one, I guess. Keep up with the runes and we're done. Mm -hmm. He's been killed from his own poison. And here we are. Wow, that heal was pretty powerful. It's fine. What is these what are these buffs that they have? Um when the enemy's turn ends, increase the damage of all allies by one. Wow. It's pretty brutal. Okay. They want to both attack the main character. That's actually excellent. So what we're gonna do is just blitz skill on her. And then we will do Battle Cry. And then we get to do this again, right? So we can even... Um, no, I'll just Battle Cry again. And what we can do is then... Uh, I'm just going to kill this one. I guess I didn't need to battle cry twice, but I didn't want to risk getting hit, so here we are. You know what I really need is somebody who can heal me. Does this game have campfires like Slay to Spire? I got no idea, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, you're going to buff yourself? Please, by all means, do that. Alright, so we'll hit you, and then we will defend. And this will trigger both of these people, by the way. Bugman, um, you can attack right here. And then Larva Man, you can attack, and you attack for so much that you kill him. Excellent. Gold, crystals, everything. Oh, look at this. Is this a legendary? Um, or just, like, because it's that, that kind of a card. I don't know. Um, this is pretty good. When player's turn ends, grants two defense to all allies for each defensive party member for a total of four. And then you, you lose this card. No, I need damage more than I need defense at this point, honestly. So we'll take that. Do we want to capture any of these guys? Yeah, we need this Shaman's Amulet. We need to be able to restore hit points. Um, so let's capture this guy. We got a squirrel shaman. We did it. We're thrilled. Let's check out the shop. And inside the shop, there is this young witch. Um, we could enchant cards. Uh, we could purchase cards. We can enhance, uh, enchant a unit. Purchase mastery. Holy smokes, I have no idea. Um... What does Purchase Mastery mean? No new heroes. Okay, well then, let's just go back. Oh, wow, I see. So, if you have these blue coins, you can, like, level up the hero itself or something? Huh. Alright, well. Can I just go back? Yeah. Alright, um, I will... Enchant a card. Oh, but I don't have enough money to really do anything. Uh, 
enchant a unit. Alright, but I don't have any, enough red gems. I can enchant a monster, but I don't have enough blue gems either. So we'll go back. Um, can I buy a card? I mean, Jesus, you're expensive, lady. Uh, mm-hmm. Wow. I'm not really that excited about any of this stuff, uh, to be honest. I could buy an extra attack, but they, even that doesn't seem great. Um, let me go to my uh, artifact. Oh, I, where's my artifact for uh, completing the tutorial? Or is that only part of the, the tutorial? Um, no, 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 I don't want to go back there. Um, we're just going to leave. Alright. So we could go here to a random event, or we could try to fight an elite. Let's get dirty, see what an elite's like. I'm game. What you got, elite? Oh my. We got a grandma bunny. And a big death thing. This Maybe I got more than I was bargaining for here. Alright, so they're going to give us a curse card, and they're going to hit the caterpillar for 19. Okay. That is not a problem. Let me flying dagger. And then um, I'm going to defend uh, the caterpillar. And we're passing the turn. Oh my. They poisoned us all. Oh, that's so bad. Oh my god, we're in the worst shape. We're getting wrecked by this. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Alright, 33 health here. Um, and she wants to attack Spider. Okay. Alright. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit here. And then, um, we can shield throw here and get rid of that enemy and then we will defend the spider and we'll we'll be done I mean we're gonna we're gonna take damage everybody's taking damage it's too bad it's not like a complete ton of damage but it's something all right let's try to get two attacks off shall we yeah, see, this is so good right here. Oh my god. Wait a minute. What just happened? What was that? Did that... Fifteen true damage to a random monster. Okay, so I think that might have hit me. And I didn't know that that was even possible. So that card is terrible. Um, I feel bad now. Anyway, attacker. And, uh, we need to take her out. I wanted to do something different, but I want to heal. But we need to make sure that she dies. The, this will do 25, and this will do 15. No, she dies. We can still heal the main character. Alright. And then we will defend... Um, the main character, and this will trigger everybody, actually. Uh, so, let's shield smash, yep, right here in her face, and then get her everything. Throw it all at her. Please. Holy smokes. First blood, we got an achievement. Alright, well, we got 
a lot of good stuff. 40 blue crystals, tw two red and 40 gold. That's pretty good. Um, creates one burden curse card. I mean, 50 defense is good. Honestly, this card is just really helpful. It's expensive, but hitting everybody is quite strong. Um, so I can now recruit this elite lady. So this is pretty sweet because, wow, this game is really good. Like, it's very obscure at first, but luckily with some knowledge of Slay the Spire, Monster Train, you know, games like this... Uh, you can get your head around it conceptually, but then the depth of having a party of monsters that have their own abilities and combos to add on to your character is just really cool. So, yeah, I want to recruit her pretty badly, um, and I'm going to have to kick somebody out, uh, and it's going to be, you know, spider person. An artifact? Oh, for beating an elite? Great. Okay, um, artifact received. Uh, hero's ring, healing charm. Um, wait a minute. Oh, no. Um, wait. Now, where did she go? I recruited her. Is she in my... Like, on my bench or something? Uh, units. Yeah, she is. Great. So, we're going to kick out Spider. Um, oops. Oops. I want to put her in the party. How do I do that? Party. Here we go. Um, let me take out this spider and replace with plant lady. Yes. Now look how sweet I'm, I am. All right. Um, artifacts. So we got what? Healing charm. When the battle starts, restore three hit points to all allies. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Well, it looks like you got a choice of three, and when you click, it's over. So I clicked on one, but luckily it was a good one. Um, battle UI. Looks like this game is Korean. Um, anyway, mana available, mana to use, card name, yeah, yeah, yeah. Menu. Anyway, okay, fine. Um, now, can you, like, change your deck? Or are you set with it? No, it's just like Slate Aspire. You just add cards to it. Perfect. Well, we'll go back, and we'll say... Awesome. Um, oh, this is what I was looking for. This is like a place to... Everyone can go and restore health. It's like a place to eat, maybe? Um... E hint. Uh, that's not helping me. Um, let's check this out. I mean, it is food, right? It's the end. Yes. Oh man, I don't have enough money for it. He has a halo. And he has bows on his mustache. This guy is unreal. Yikes, you startled me. Please accept my apologies. No travelers have made this, their way to my establishment for quite some time. You can allow yourself to relax just this once. We offer either an ordinary room or luxury. Well, now I know how much you cost, and I'd love to talk to you, but um, I'm, not, I'm not ready. All right. Let's fight the boss. That's all we can do. Oh my goodness. It's a sultry satyr lady. Sweet Moses, she's got her finger, like, touching my face. Um, her nail is coming through the screen and has bored a hole into my forehead. She has 500 health, by the way. That's formidable. All right, what's she... She's going to hit everybody for 15? Yeah, sure, great. Um, okay. Well. I guess we just hit you for 60. And I didn't draw any defensive cards, so that's a bummer. Well, let me see. This does poison with you 5% of your hit points. 
and you know 10% is 48 so it does 24 so this would do 48 damage for t um, plus 15 um, 63 alright so it is more damage than not doing it it's not actually that math because it's 5% of this but still it's better let's go end the turn so she punches everybody. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. All right, here we go. And now she's going to do 12 damage to a random person and 12 damage to Grandma Bunny. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, defend Grandma Bunny. And then uh, we will attack her and then we can um, defend uh, this bug because it's at the lowest health and then be done well the good thing is we, we defended the right monster all right so let's try to get uh, these, <clears throat> excuse me, combos to go off. So, let's see. She's going to remove all of our um, buffs. Well, do that. That's fine. I'm just looking at what I want to play here in terms of my... I need an attack card, but the only one I have is Shield Throw. And um, it's not going to do very much damage. Alright, this is fine. We'll just play Blitz skill. on, And we'll use her skill. Um, oh, did I accidentally select somebody different? What happened? Why did I select her? I was using it on her. Oh, that's a disaster. I didn't mean for that to happen. Um... Well, I guess we attack for 25. I was just going to block. Um... Oh, no, wait. I see what happened. Her combo went off first, and now I get to use my Blitz skill. Okay, okay, perfect. Um, we're going to Battle Cry. And then... Um... We're actually going to defend again uh, on her, and just kind of end the turn get everybody a little bit of defense and then now she wants to heal, uh, defend for 50 and then give herself a big buff so it's time mm -hmm, I see we're going to do flying daggers and then we're going to attack her and this will trigger her ability Okay, uh, honestly, I could heal, but I think we want to just hit her. End turn. Alright, so now she is going to attack everyone for 10 twice. So we're going to do um, Peacekeeper for sure. But let's attack Peacekeeper. All right, and we will Peacekeeper, uh, and we'll put chains on this character. And then we'll put chains on her. And then so she loses her entire attack. And now we have our... Um, we'll, we'll shield smash for sure. We'll try to get through her armor. Um, I don't understand exactly why she's retaliating damage. Um, 
I just don't see that, but let's do this. Alright, um... Yeah, it just doesn't... I don't see, like, she has thorns on her. At, anyway, ouch. That really hurt. So we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do her, and we're gonna battle cry because she's about to die. Um, and we'll now end our turn. Luckily, we don't take any damage, but... Alright. What does this mean? I couldn't begin to know. Um, Alright. Let me defend um, Grandma. And then... We'll Flying Dagger, because it's the poison is pretty much the most consistent damage source I have. And we'll end the turn. Alright. Now... It is time... Hmm. She's gonna put change on somebody and attack a random person. Okay. We need a, both attack and defense are actually pretty reasonable right here for progressing runes. But if I attack and defend, we get that done. So let's attack her. And then let's um, do this. And we're going to just... Um, we're just going to do damage. We need it. And we're going to battle cry for sure to try to taunt. So she has to attack the main character. Um, and she's going to put chains on somebody, which is actually not that bad. All right. Okay. And then she's going to put a curse card in. That's 100% fine. If we defend, this person's stuff goes off. So let's just defend um, this character. And then... Uh, we'll do the damage. And then we'll do the daggers. Get the poison back on. Poison MVP. And a turn. The fact that it's 5% of her, her total health, her max health, uh, I'm sorry, her max health instead of her total health is what's making the poison absolutely ridiculous. All right, now she's going to heal herself for 50, um, which I can understand why you'd want to do that. So uh, let's finish this, do flying daggers right away. This will go off. And then, yeah, let's do flame incantation. Unfortunately, I have nothing else that can go off, but I can just... I need to hit her. You know what I mean? So she's almost dead. She'll take 25 and then heal 50, so she'll be at 63 here. But then she's got 50 coming in over time. She's going to do half health damage to our main character, which is a problem. What does this say? When the turn ends, clones one card unusable all right well, whatever um we're going to defend to get her ability off and i think actually if i do this we kill you with um shield smash get out of here lady get your finger out of my face sweet we got mastery points. Red crystals, blue crystals, and gold. Confirm. And we get to pick something up.
Huh. That's interesting. I don't know how many power cards I have, though. Uh, I'll pretend like this is useful. Okay, so we got the ancient surcoat. Um, the, the hero restores two hit points at the start of battle. Cool. And we are on chapter two, which is cool. Everybody gets healed to full, it looks like. Fantastic. Well, everyone, this was a very long first episode, but I wanted to just try to clear the first act to see everything that was going, or the first chapter, I should say. I have to say, you know, there's some confusion with some aspects of this game, but the core of it is really cool and fun, and I'm glad Brick introduced it to me. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this game, if you want to see more of it, if you've played it, what you think of it. Does it um, get better over time? Any information at all or feelings would be welcome to hear. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you guys have an excellent evening or day, and I will check you next time. If there's interest in this game, I will play it further. All right, everybody. Take care.